Oh wait, that's uh, one with anchors. Okay, is it a Disney cruise? Guys, you're <laughs> so close. You are so uh. close. Hello and good morning everyone. Welcome. We're so excited to have you here with us today. Glad I waited a few hours to open up the vlog because this morning, this morning was rough for me, you guys. I was so tired. I went to that really fancy event last night for Albion. We left at about 9.15. Steph and I were hungry, so we headed off to McDonald's. I woke up and I was like, my stomach hurts so bad. Whenever it's late and you just make like irresponsible choices, that's what I did last night by going to McDonald's. In the moment, it was really good. Took the kids to school this morning, came home, just hung out a little bit. We just took it really slow. I was like, I'm just gonna enjoy the afternoon. Went and got the kids in my pajamas. In my pajamas in carpool pickup. Granted, today is early day. It was like 12.30 when I had to leave the house. We went to Swig. Daisy has her Swig right here. I don't drink it, so this time. Daisy has to drink it, because sometimes she gets them and she doesn't drink them. Sitting there in Swig, drive up line, which is incredibly long after school. And Ryler says, hey mom, how long do you think my retainer appointment's gonna be? And I was like, oh my gosh, you have a retainer appointment. Oh my gosh. His appointment was in 13 minutes. Haven't showered, in pajamas, at Swig, no retainer, and we had to go home. I was stressing out. I'm happy to tell you. Quickly got through the line, headed home, and he was able to get his retainer. I ran him down. I said, buddy, I'm so sorry. You're gonna have to run it by yourself this time. I'm not going in there with the way I look. It's great that I gave it a little bit of time before I opened the vlog, feeling much better. We're so excited to have you here today because we have a little something something going down today. I'm not gonna tell you quite yet. Kids don't even know. Today's gonna be awesome. If I have time, I wanna run up to the lot. Don't know that it's gonna happen because Wednesdays are typically our busier days. We only have three of the kids here today. Crew went home with a friend, trying to get him to broaden his groups of friends. He went home with a kid from school, so he's having a great time there. Miss Hazy's with me, and she gets to go to dance here in a little bit. She's gonna have fun there. Rexy's hanging out, and he just said, Mom, I just really want crew here. I have to tell you, I just love how good of friends they are. Makes me so happy. You're just counting down the minutes? Yeah. Yeah? You could text him and tell him you're excited for him to come home. I've already did that like 700 times. <laughs> I love you. Love you. We have decided this afternoon it would be fun to play a little mystery bag game, a little mystery suitcase game as it is. Yeah. We just got these suitcases, as you guys know, we announced recently we were going on spring break to Maui and we thought that that would be the perfect tie-in to break out the new suitcases, take them on an epic adventure and journey. But then we thought, you know what, we want to use them sooner than that. Don't want to wait all the way until then, so let's turn it into a fun mystery suitcase game. What we've done, Mom and I have filled these suitcases with clues to a surprise, prize. Basically, it's just a fun game, almost like a scavenger hunt, but you don't have to go anywhere. You have to put the clues together. We're going to open each one of these suitcases and each one of them contains a set of clues and we're gonna open them in this order I think right yeah Hopefully. one yeah. two three four so this is bag number one two three and four let's take our time as we open each suitcase go through the contents and let's see if you guys can guess what the surprise is and if you don't get it by the end of the fourth suitcase mom and I will just go ahead and reveal and tell you what it is <laughs> right. I'm gonna tell you right now just a quick heads up it will be very difficult to guess wait so is it going to be like something for all of us or something for one of us? It's for all of us. <laughs> <laughs> oh, mine's heavy. No, I need to shake it because then I know, then I can move. We've decided that this is the order we're going to go in and that everyone's standing by the suitcase they want to open. Now everyone's involved, so everyone can go ahead and go through the clues, sift through guests. We're just going to let whoever's standing in front of that case be the one to actually open it. So Brexit, it'll... One at a time, would you do the honors and open suitcase number do you one to for lay us? It down? I think that's the easiest way to do it. Way to lay it down is like this. I love these suitcases, by the way, guys. Yeah. They're so freaking cool. Unzipping suitcase mystery bag number one. Rexy Doodle, show us the contents and all of you guys tell us what you think is going on. Okay, all right, what do we have in mystery bag number one, guys? What do we have? Looks like a towel. Some kind of a beach towel. Some sunscreen. Oh, okay. Swimsuit. Oh. Sun tank top, Tevas, towel. Interesting. Yeah, Any guesses, you guys? Any guesses on suitcase number one as to what this surprise could be? No. Throw Any guesses? There's no wrong answers. Whatever you think it might be. Any guesses? Don't feel bad if you guess something big and then you're like, they're going to think I'm spoiled if I guess something big. Yeah, I'm kind of thinking it, like a beach trip or something. A beach trip? Okay, I like that. I like Maui, but we already revealed that. Yes, okay, I like it though. I, I was love it. thinking maybe that our house was gonna get the pool built in. Whoa! I like where your head's at, bro. Okay, Brexit, do any any guess after suitcase number one? No. No guesses? Okay. All right. So I will tell you, nobody got it yet. Should we move on to suitcase number two? No. Yes. Yeah. Suitcase number two. Oh, 
This will be our pile of clues. So this is suitcase number one, our set of clues right there. Crew, we do the honors of setting down and opening. Suitcase number two. Number two, everyone. This is the big one. I will say this is the heaviest one. This one's got pretty heavy. Oh! Wait. Okay, all right. I know what it is. I know, I know, I know. I have a guess, I have a guess. Cat? Disneyland? Okay, I like no. that. Disney Cruise. Disney Cruise? Oh Hazy's on to something, you guys. Hazy's on to something here. We've got Disney stuff. And we've got beach attire. What's inside these guys? These are the uh, droids. Like I have an R2D2. A little droid. BB-8. Okay, so let's do another round of guesses. We've got beach stuff, and we've got some Disney slash Star Disney Wars slash. Cruise is my guess. Or Disney yeah. Land. Disney Land, Disney Cruise. Maybe Florida. Florida. You guys are getting very warm. You guys are getting much warmer, but you haven't nailed it. Disney World. You're getting warmer. You guys are getting Disney so warm. Land. Should we open up the third suitcase? I told you it's gonna be very, very difficult to guess, but you guys are so close. On the game of hot and cold, you are sizzling hot, but not quite there yet. Yeah, but I'm hot like me. <laughs> oh, wow. Disney Cruise? We are on to our third suitcase, our third set of clues. Making a clue pile right here. We've got beach attire, Star Wars droids, Mickey wizard hat. Kids have put together a lot of the pieces of the puzzle. I think they're getting genuinely perplexed. They're just like, I don't get it. I've guessed everything I can think of. What could it be? Hazy open. Okay, what do we have in here? Passport. Oh. Interesting. Pa wait. Passports? What would you need passports for? I remember for our cruise, oh, we used passports. passports. We did use passports for the cruise, right, guy? Great. And, okay, yes. another thing. Only in Disney World. Do you use these? The magic bands? Man, these kids are good. These kids are good. Hazy girl, what do we have on yours over here? Is that your magic band? One. Then what else is on your lap? What is that, Brexy Doodle? Oh, wait, that's uh, one with anchors. Okay, is it a Disney cruise? Guys, you're so <laughs> close. You are so <laughs> close. The last clue. Wait, Paris, I think it's Paris Disneyland. Disneyland Paris has been on our because, list. Wait, I think I know. I think it's a cruise to a Disney like spot, like Paris or something. That'd be insane. I love it. You guys are just taking the bait so perfectly. Okay, so oh. let's open the fourth and final suitcase. Fourth and final suitcase, and if you guys don't get it, Mom and I will go ahead and fill in the gaps. But this one should tie up, or at least send you in the right direction with what the surprise is. Are you guys ready to open the fourth oh, and nervous. final suitcase? Well, I want a video of this. Are you guys ready? A lot of great guesses, you guys. Fantastic okay. guesses. Okay, Rag, I go ahead and open up the fourth suitcase. All right, here we go. Star Wars. Okay, Star Wars shirt. What else we got? Could we do go in there? You got one? Okay, all right, that's pretty cool. Baby Yoda. Okay, all right. We got a lot of Star Wars t-shirts. Okay, guys, putting some clues together. Is that a thing? Star Wars Land is a thing. It absolutely is a thing. Uh, any more guesses, guys? Do you guys have any final guesses? Disney Star um, Wars Star Wars Cruise. Cruise. Star Wars Cruise? That yes. That's that's guys, thing. you nailed it. We're going on a Star Wars Cruise to Outer Space next weekend. What? Yes! What we are going on a Star Wars Cruise to Outer Space. Now, you guys, it is the... Wait, what do you mean Outer Space? <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Okay. Water in There's power. no water, so we were just trying to get you towards the direction of a cruise. We don't actually need any of the sunscreen or the swimsuits or the tank tops or flip flops because we are leaving this planet and boarding a spaceship and flying to outer space. Here's the coolest thing, you guys. We are going to be boarding the Star Wars Galactic Star Cruiser, and here's what? the craziest what? thing it's not even open yet. It is not open to the public. Disney has invited us to try it out what? ourselves what? to take the first voyage into space before it's open to the public. And we're gonna be staying on a three day cruise, two night cruise in outer space, you guys. Because I can see in your faces, you are very confused as to how we got outer space. <laughs> You guys remember when we go to Disney World, we go on Rise of the Resistance, right? And that's like a ride that it takes you to like another planet. Cool you get a like, cool thing ever, right? Now imagine living on something like that for three days, only five times the size. Everyone is in character as like aliens from other planets. You guys actually drive the ship, eat food at the restaurants there, talk with the Jedis, join the Resistance. <laughs> You are literally in a Star Wars movie and experience of your very own in your room, in our rooms, because it is a cruise. We have a window out into outer space for the entire cruise, you guys. But it's not real. We're what? actually not in outer space. Right but now. just so you don't freak out, we're not in outer space. It's all digital. <laughs> Wait, what the Is crap? this the most insane it's thing? Hard to it sounds amazing. <laughs> I'm gonna show you every little piece of information I have, every piece of video. It is so new, you guys wouldn't know about it because yeah. it's not open. It opens in March, and we're going next weekend what? to try it out and vlog the entire experience. 10 days from today, we leave. Here's the other part. I don't even know where I left off last. Sorry, we've been doing some like. 
they were a little confused, so we're bringing yeah. them up to speed. Hazy was super nervous about a cruise in outer space. They were wondering where the water was. So here's how it works, you guys. We're gonna be boarding the Star Wars Galactic Star Cruiser. We go up there, they hang out in outer space. We've kind of explained how that works to these guys. I'll brief you guys in the vlog here in a minute. But what we want to also let you guys know, it's not just that we're going on a spaceship cruise into outer space. We're also going to Disney World as a family. So we're going out early. We're gonna go hit the Disney World parks. Then we're gonna board our Star Cruiser, and then we're gonna go into outer space, and then we're gonna come back and hang out another couple days in Disney World, you guys. Dude. Is this epic or is this epic? This is epic! Let's go. We just found out about this. We made all the plans two days ago. So guys, you know how we said that our suitcase's first epic adventure was going to be to Maui? Yes. They were supposed to be. We accidentally lied because right after we announced our big spring break destination, Disney emailed, sent us an invitation to this, and we are now packing our bags and heading to Disney World, you guys. What the Let's go! Let's go! <laughs> So I think that the kids are excited and jacked out of their mind, but it might have been a little bit confusing as to exactly what is going down and what they were surprised with. So in case you guys are confused too as to exactly what is happening, where we're going and what we're gonna be doing, let me tell you a little bit more about the experience on the Star Wars Galactic Star Cruiser. A lot of this will start to make sense as we piece the trip together and explain more details in the coming week, but what we really wanted to do is to get the kids super jacked and excited for a Star Wars experience. More than just Disney focused and Disney World focused, we wanted them to dive in and immerse themselves in the world of Star Wars so that this can be that next level out of this world, another galaxy experience for them. Just to quickly kind of bring you up to speed on what the Galactic Star Cruiser is if you haven't heard of it yet, because it is, like I said, not open to the public just yet. It opens in March. We're gonna be checking this out for the first time. From everything we've heard and everything we've read, it is like nothing else that you've ever experienced. It's part like live immersive theater. It's part of themed environment. It's like tons of food. The entire thing is themed. There are characters on board. If you've ever been or seen our videos of Rise of the Resistance, I kind of told the kids it's like as if we got off that spaceship when you were arrive there and there's all those stormtroopers then that would be like the lobby and you're checking in and then you stay on a spaceship and they very much talk about it like a cruise there are like sailings you have like muster station drills at the beginning so it's very much a space cruise so when you go to check in you guys you actually arrive at like what looks like a NASA facility or just kind of a space launch pad it's not actually like an entrance to the hotel it's just like a cement wall that says Galactic Star Cruiser and then you go into like a launch bay and you actually get onto a launching pod I imagine of course it's all done through the magic of digital special effects but you launch into space. And as I understand it, there are like windows, it's a glass elevator, so it looks like you're flying into space and then you will arrive and dock at the Galactic Star Cruiser. And when you get off and the doors open, you have completely left planet Earth and you are on a spaceship in outer space. It's not just something that you go and you look at and you witness or you get to walk around and touch. It is interactive, it's immersive, you actually interact with characters. You might join the resistance and like help smuggle somebody on board. You might join the First Order and be like a whistleblower. Everything that you do, every choice and decision that you make has a consequence throughout your stay. In fact, one of the shore excursions I say that in air quotes because it's similar to a cruise when you stop at a port and you get off on that port and you go do snorkeling or whatever. One of them is at the Galaxy's Edge in Batu, which is inside of Disney's Hollywood Studios. But you get to go to Rise of the Resistance before the park opens. And based on some of the interactions that you have on that ride, it will affect your experience when you get back on the ship. So when I talk about it being like immersive and interactive, I mean every single touch along the way. Then you also get to go on the Smuggler's Run ride without any kind of a line, eat inside of Galaxy's Edge, and then you head back on onto the ship to finish off your cruise. If I didn't say it already, it is a two night, three day basically adventure. You get on one day, you're there for a full day, and you wake up and you get off the next morning. Some of the stuff that you can do on there, there's obviously incredible restaurants. They have like a part where you can go to the bridge of the spaceship and it looks out a massive window out into space and you can throw the ship into hyperspeed, mess around with the controls. They actually have lightsaber training. One of the things that I'm actually super excited for is the staterooms. They are very much built like cruise ship staterooms in that they are pretty compact quarters, but they have two cool beds built into the wall that the kids are super stoked about one that folds down from the wall and then a bed in the middle but they have a porthole or a window that looks out into outer space and when you look out there it's literally like a digital version of outer space with stars flying by you've got ships that will blaze by shooting getting into fights with each other giant star cruisers that pass in the night so just an incredible vibe to make it fully immersive make it feel like you really are taking a cruise through outer space outside of that you guys we really don't know much about what to expect because like I said it has not been open to the public yet so there's not a lot of information or videos vlogs things like that about the experience. I know that we are going to be fortunate enough to be one of the first, so you guys wanna make sure you are sticking around. Stay tuned, subscribe, turn the alert bell on because you're gonna wanna watch every bit of this epic out of this world adventure. And like I said, we wanted to tell the kids with enough time in advance so that they could get super geeked out about Star Wars, maybe play some Star Wars in VR, watch a couple of the movies with Rye Guy, and really just immerse ourselves in this experience because it's truly a once in a lifetime, one of a kind opportunity that we could not be more stoked about. 
The other part of this epic surprise is that we're not only going on this outer space adventure, a literal cruise into space, we're also spending a few days at Disney World, turning it into a full-blown family Disney World getaway. It's gonna be so awesome. We can hardly wait. 10 days is gonna fly by. It's gonna come so fast. We have started our travel adventures each year for the last three years in Walt Disney World. It's not been like I intentional. Know. We never really planned to kick things off that way. It's just laid out that way. And it just feels like an awesome start to an amazing year. It just feels like home. It's it happy. Right. We love it. We love going there. And we've had some incredible opportunities that we are so grateful for. One of the coolest parts about this, you guys, is that I just searched the internet to try and find like a walking tour of this hotel, this floating flying hotel. I can't find it anywhere. So we're going to vlog this whole thing. We're going to give you a full rundown of the rooms, what's on board, walk through the whole it's thing. cool. I'm going to show you the entire ship. So make sure you are subscribed and you do come back for those vlogs because I think they be one of the first on the internet. We are just humbled and grateful to Disney Seriously. for inviting us out and treating us to this incredible, this very unique experience. And I know once again, it'll be one that we will never forget. We could not be more excited about this upcoming adventure. Oh. We're so stoked to bring you guys along with us. The kids are flipping out, I have to say. The scavenger hunt, well, the scavenger hunt, just like the mystery suitcase thing, we made that yeah. up. It couldn't have gone better. Like, we were trying to take them down a path. We wanted them thinking cruise, then we wanted to steer them off into Star Wars land, and then they might think Disney, and put it all together, and they guessed Disney Cruise. It was funny. It was perfect. It just went so well. Dude, it went Rexy, over great. He, like, guessed it. And then when Brexton said Star Wars Cruise, I was like, holy cow, these clues actually came together, and they nailed it. So, it mostly dad's idea. they're geeked out and excited. We are beyond excited. We cannot oh, believe we're going to be on a it. plane in less than 10 days. It's been a while since we've traveled as a family. We're going to get ourselves in the bed. Come back tomorrow. We're going to have a lot more fun to come. We're excited to get ready for this one. Pack all the good stuff. I think I'm going to start packing this weekend because I just know next week's going to be crazy. It gets so. a little wild. You guys, we love you. Thanks for hanging out with us today and coming here and hanging out with our family every single day. We love you so much and we'll see you all tomorrow. Good night, everybody. Bye. Star Wars Cruise? Yes. Yeah. Guys, no. you nailed it. We're going on a Star Wars cruise to outer space next weekend. What? Yes! What? We are going on a Star Wars cruise to outer space. The big stinky number two. Oh my gosh, you're not putting that in the vlog.